Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and photographers of all ages. This is Steve with stevephoto.com and I am here today with the Leica Wide Angle Tri Elmar Lens, otherwise known as the Weight or the Wate, however you want to say it. I've heard it both ways. Uh, this is Leica's ultra wide M lens. It goes from 16 millimeter to 21. And what's cool about this lens is it's not a zoom, but you can change the focal length with a click of this ring here. It's like a focus ring, but it's not a focus ring. 16, 18, 21. So most of my shooting with the lens has been at 16, but I have also shot at 18 and 21. But at 16 on a full frame Leica M9, it is wide. Let me tell you, it is wide. I'm going to take off the lens cover here to show you. It has a metal lens hood, much like the new Suma Luxes, the 21 and 24. It just screws on, it's metal. And as you can see, it's pretty compact for a 16, 18, 21 lens, all in one. It's at f4, so it's a little slow. It's not a 2.8 or 1.4. It starts at f4. You can stop down to f22. But most of my shooting has been at f4 through f8, because I find the performance has just been terrific, even wide open. Uh, it seems to sharpen up a bit by f5, 6, and then f8 especially but it's a great lens. The one cool thing, well I don't know, some people don't consider it cool, but y your frame lines in an M camera don't go to 16 or 18 or 21. So what you need is Leica created a universal viewfinder that attaches to the top of your camera. And people refer to this as the Frankenfinder because it's huge. Let's set it next to the lens. I mean it's almost as big as the, the lens. But what's very cool about it is, say you're shooting at 16, you just set the lens to 16. If you want to set it to 18, 18, 21, and then you get the correct uh, lines through the viewfinder. I can't see it here, but uh, it works very well, works very well. And you can even set your distance, how far you are from your subject with that little dial. And I gotta tell you, the viewfinder is actually pretty nice. It does have some barrel distortion when you have it at the 16 millimeter, but other than that, I find it a must-have with this lens because there's no way you could frame accurately without it. Um, so I highly recommend this beast of a finder that sits on top of your M. It looks kind of funny, as you can see in the picture I posted, but it's worth its weight in gold. Highly recommend that if you buy this lens, you buy the finder with it. They sell it in a kit. Uh, for for only six thousand dollars, I mean, who can't who can't afford that? Anyway, I just wanted to show you the lens that, that it's it's very compact for being such a wide angle. Compared to Nikon's 14 to 24, this is tiny. I mean, I had that Nikon on a D700, and it was like it w it would have had this for breakfast, and then it would have ate the Frankenfinder for lunch. But uh, anyway, this is a great lens. You could read the review at my site, stephaphoto.com have plenty of samples including some inside an old abandoned creepy moldy smelly wet hospital so hope you enjoy the review and I hope you enjoyed this little video and make sure you visit my site stephaphoto.com